this is it. This is what you play all season for. This is what you go 11 and 0 for, but after tonight 11 and 0 doesn't matter. You want to go 1 and 0 in your next game otherwise you the season was not a waste, but the season isn't what you wanted it to be. 100% last year uh, the University of Michigan Wolverines they beat Ohio State at uh, in Ann Arbor to go to the play, uh, to go to the Big 10 Championship. They beat Iowa to go to the playoffs. They've been there. They're trying to take that next step. The next step for Jim Harbaugh and the Michigan Wolverines is to win the playoff game and get to the final dance. 11-0 is beautiful. 11-0 is special. It, all, all that it sounds nice. good. Yep. It, look, it looks good. Hey, you're, 20, you're, you're 23 and, and, and 2 in your last 25 games. It's special. But if you don't beat Ohio State and Ohio State, then it says something about Jim Harbaugh. And it says something. Everybody, what everybody was talking about, whether it's the schedule or we don't believe in Jim Harbaugh's team, or we don't believe in J.J. Uh, McCarthy, if they don't go down there and win, then what everybody said will come into fruition, and then Michigan will find themselves trying to figure out next year what to change and what to do. You're here. You're here for a reason. And also, this is what people forget. The reigning, defending Big Ten champions are the Michigan Wolverines and not the Ohio State Buckeyes. And the reason why they won last year, Stick, they won in the trenches. Yep. They won with physicality yep. on the offensive line, and they won with physicality on the defensive line, Aiden, uh, Aiden Hudson and David Ojabo. Keep that same physicality because Ryan Day's Ohio State is not the same as Ohio State has been in the past. Yeah, and to me it's, uh, you know, styles make boxing matches. True. Styles also make football games, and that's what I think is going to be really interesting about this one this week is, you know, the air raid attack from Ohio State versus the ground and pound from Michigan, and which, which is going to win out. You know, yeah. um, Michigan obviously is having some injury issues at running back. Blake Corum, have we gotten an update if he's absolutely going to be out or absolutely going to play? I think it's still kind of up in the air at this point, right? I got an inside information. I got inside information he's playing. Okay. I got inside information he's 100% playing. Trust me, it's, it is a very credible source. Uh, he will be playing, but at what level will, right. be, will, will be the question? Like, at what level? I feel like this is two years in a row. You look at last year, remember Blake Corum got injured against Rutgers. And then didn't play against Maryland. And then kind of, you know, he kind of, he was about 77% of the old state game. He had the two big plays, but remember he got caught yep. because he was tweaking. And then obviously in the Iowa game, it gets a lot better. But what Blake Corm will we see in Columbus on Saturday? And also, J.J. McCarthy. Yes. J.J. McCarthy. It, it's time for Jim Harbaugh to put him in a situation and take the reins off.